Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded build video where today we're going to be going through and we are talking some bridge ideas for all of you guys. I have been going through and thinking of different build ideas that I could do for you guys with the newest update coming out, the 1.1 update that is all around building and stuff like that in the game. And these three bridge ideas that we are looking at right here are the ideas that I have come up with for all of you guys. Now I know a lot of you aren't the best when it comes to building or maybe you are the best when it comes to building to building but you're looking for some new ideas well sir sim is here to help so let's go through let's talk a little bit more about these bridge ideas that i have made over here for us and what it's going to take to make each of them and why each of them work so well and at the end we're going to talk about lighting them as well so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end but let's hop in and let's take a little bit of a peek here so first things first we're going to start with um the mushroom brick bridge this one i like because i like the archway look underneath it as well as how it gets lit up up, but the archway look underneath is really good it has these little bit of an arches you could go spacing out these a little bit more making it so they have a longer arch underneath them or you could go even higher by going up one and then using something like pillars in between them to make it look like it's really up high almost making it look like an aqueduct or by going through and building up extra layers if you were to go through and do something around this way so if i was to go through and just put this up here and like this right of course, it's not going to be supported, so we'll just go other side like this. Then you could go right on top and do something like this. And then this is how you're going to start getting into having multi-tiered bases like that. So you could start doing multi-tiered bridges like that if you want to. You don't need to, but you could do that with this bridge and it would still look the same. But going through all in all, it's pretty simple. It's a standard plank flooring or weed stem flooring. Um, or you can use plank floors. Really, you can use any floors for any of these builds, but I've gone through and given you different looks for each one. Uh, and then mushroom brick half walls that are the car carnelated, I believe is what they're called. Crenulated, maybe. Um, Corrugated? No, corrugated. It's cardboard. But anyway, uh, this is how you build this one. I really like it. You put walls on either side. You go one up off the ground once you put down your floors using these arches. And all in all, I think it makes it look like a really, really neat looking bridge. The second one we're going to be looking at is my favorite bridge in the game. And that is this one. This is my favorite looking bridge in the game. I like it more using the crow feather roofs, but I showed you that you can use the, um, the, the, clover roofs if you want to but the crow feather roofs make it look a little bit better all in all this bridge makes me feel like you're walking through a harry potter castle bridge right a hogwarts bridge that's where this looks like to me and i really like it and you have the add defense with this one where if you cover yourself up with this one you'll also be able to shoot arrows out of the walls on this one this is the only covered bridge that i have made as well uh the other two are open air bridges but this one to me i feel like you can defend it you could shoot arrows out of it it would look really really good if you were to do that and also they would attack the walls and the top before they would attack the base of it making it so if you had to it probably wouldn't fall out from underneath you as easily when you have things like bees and mosquitoes coming to fight you because you made them mad and they're coming to raid your base unless you turn base raids off then you don't have to worry about that at all but all in all this is still a very cool looking bridge nonetheless and then finally we have the bridge that's over here this one i like to call like the pathway bridge or like what you just build to raise you up off the ground a little bit while you're doing kind of walk arounds keeping things things off your back all the time like making it so you can escape from things faster or so you're not having to jump all the time that's what i feel like that this bridge is for um and it's fairly simple to make it takes clover roof um flooring some nice half weed half stem weed um walls and then uh on this side i went ahead and showed you that you could use a clover roof as well as the ramp in order to get up on it and you could switch out for sprig or acorn fencing if you want to but we're also getting some new fences coming to the game and the bonus about all of these is that all these are upgradable with some of the new things that are coming to the game. I.e. mainly this mushroom one over here. We're getting mushroom staircases in the next update, which is going to look really, really cool. If you guys haven't seen the mushroom staircases yet, they look great. They look really, really good. And it's going to make this, this little bridge that I made over here look even better. I feel like that this is a good walkway for whenever you're going into like a castle or something like that. If you're building a large castle, this is a good one. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to take a little bit of a pause and I'd like to switch over to things being at night so you guys can see all these bridges lit up and how I lit them as well. So you guys can have an idea of ways that you can do lighting in the game as well. 
All right, so let's start with the mushroom one. Now that we're in a little bit more of a darker situation, let's check this out. So this one here, I like this one at night because this one is underlit. It, all the lights are underneath the bridge, so there's no actual lights on top of it. It gives you a decent amount of lighting as you're walking through and it can light up anything that you put underneath it as well. So I like the way that this one looks when it's underlit. Um, this is the only one that is underlit, by the way. Now let's go over to my favorite looking bridge over here. This one has the lights on each side. And to me, it does look very, very, very cool at night as you're running through with it being a little bit darker in here, even with the lighter, white, bright white lights that you can actually adjust. And I know with 1.1, you're able to go through and adjust all these lights to make them whatever color you want to. But for now, uh, I stick with these standard like default lighting as it is so that's what i prefer that lighting when it comes to these bridges and then finally we have the simple bridge as i'll call it again the simple bridge that has lights across the entire thing this one's lit up nicely and it's once again a nice easy way for you guys to be able to walk through and build up some quick bridges around that aren't going to take as much stuff like these will that's going to take a lot more weed stems and also the burrweed floors and stuff like that but nonetheless all three of these bridge ideas are very very cool in my opinion and i hope you guys will use them in your world i have more build videos just like this one that's going to be coming out in the future so i hope you guys will subscribe and make sure you guys are checking out other things on the channel as well we got a thank miss live stream coming very very soon that i hate for any of you guys to miss as well we got a smaller goal this year that we're definitely going to be able to raise with all the neat and awesome things that i'm going to be doing for all of you guys during the stream like giveaways and all of those other things that go along with it but thank you guys so much make sure you guys hit that like button on your way out and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one.